Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, so today I'm coming at you guys with a five below haul and some of these items you might have already seen on my TikTok uh, because they went viral. So I can't promise you that all of this will be in store, but also went to Dollar Tree and I got a couple items that are definitely worth showing. So I'm gonna show you guys that too. Let's get into it. Sidebar real quick. Obviously my hair is straight today, kind of. This is actually bedhead. Um, I straightened my hair yesterday because I was going to do something with a friend, but then she canceled. So I was like, all right, well, straighten my hair for nothing. But then I was like, no, it's not for nothing. Self love, self care. First thing is gonna be from Five Below because I, it has to be shown first. This is what went viral. Tell me you're joking. Five Below, first of all, Five Below, if you're watching this, tell me you're joking. I need you to make a peach. I need you to make a peach one. Please, Five Below. Do it for me. <laughs> I made you viral with this strawberry. Now make me a peach. There are so many things to say about this. First of all, I did not expect to see this at Five Below. I did not see any TikToks prior to seeing this. No videos prior to seeing this. Um, something just told me, go to Five Below today. Followed that urge. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to Five Below, see what they have going on. Because it was between Five Below or Pop Shelf. So I had the choice where I was either gonna film at Five Below or Pop Shelf. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Five Below. And when I walked in, it's like a row of these. And I was like, oh, oh. And so like I walked up to it, I was like, I literally have it on camera because I was filming a shop with me video. And I have it on camera of me going, oh. Like I literally have it on camera of me being like, oh. It has the Squishmallow material and it's huge for $5.55. <laughs> Honestly, I would have paid 10 for this. That's what makes it so special. So there's no guarantee that you're gonna find this at your five below because unfortunately it went viral twice um, through my page. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I couldn't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so cute though. I should have gotten two. I should have gotten two. Like, I sent a message to my friend and I was like, look, they got these strawberry pillows at Five Below and I'm about to post this and I promise you, this is going viral. And like clockwork it did, that's manifestation. I'm obsessed with it. Figured it's so cute that it needs to be on like main display. Like the second you walk into my house, like that is what you see. Because when you walk into my house, you're faced to the living room. You see the blanket that I have, which is like a white chunky blanket. And then you see the couch and the strawberry pillow. I need to cut this off though, because this is annoying. Almost gave me a paper cut. This thing from Vibe Below. This is for my husband. And this was at his desk. So I was like, babe, I need to borrow it. I'm making a video. Got this for him because I had a very rough day at work last week and it happened to be the day that I was going to Five Below. So I was like, I'm gonna get him a Squishmallow. Usually I don't get Squishmallows because when I see them at like Target and stuff, they're like the giant ones, so they're like 50 bucks. And I'm like, yeah, okay. But these are at Five Below, so these are all like $5. And this one's a snake. So adorable. I'm so obsessed with it. Like to the point where like we literally kept the tag on, like, I don't know. I feel like people collect these, but I just love little plushies. Like even on my desk right now, like on my vanity, I have a Pokemon. This is Meryl. So I, I do collect plushies. So I love these and so does my husband. And these are super squishy. But then the second thing that I got my husband from Five Below was this for his desk. So cute, which I had a Christmas one of these that Five Below themselves sent me for Christmas. Um, but I had to put it away because it was Christmas themed. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I want it for myself. But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it for my husband. So I got it for my husband and it goes on his desk. 
and it's just so cute. Like, it's just free serotonin. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what if you walked into your office every day and like this was sitting on your desk? Like, would you not at least crack a smile? Like, at least, or like even like smile in your, in your head? You would. How could you not? <laughs> Next thing that I got, this one is from me. This one's so cute. This is like a little Ray. I'm so obsessed with it. <laughs> they had these in pink and blue. Um, obviously I got the pink one because I love pink. It's my favorite color and it'll match perfectly. I have a little Pusheen Cat Boba like cup plushie on my computer desk. So this goes right next to that. So cute. I'm obsessed. It's just free serotonin. Like I, I love it. <laughs> I love Pusheen Cat. That is something about me is that I love, love, love Pusheen Cat. Um, and I loved Pusheen Cat ever since I saw Pusheen Cat for the first time on Facebook. Like the first time that I saw Pusheen Cat on Facebook, which basically like Pusheen on Facebook was just like emojis and like gifts that people would use on Facebook, I fell in love. And then I realized like how Pusheen has evolved. There's all these like plushies and stuff, like I'm, I'm obsessed. So Five Below has a lot of Pusheen stuff. Um, obviously they have Hello Kitty as well. I'm not as much of a Hello Kitty fan. I know that you would probably think that I am, but I'm not. I like Pusheen. Um, so these are just stickers, which honestly, like I'm just gonna use these in my planner. And also for like any cards that I write people or um, any mail that's going out, I could just kind of like throw random stickers on it. Now we're on to stuff from Dollar Tree. So first thing from Dollar Tree, this Wi-Fi sign, which my Wi-Fi password is set by my husband and it is literally the most complicated, most extra, most unnecessary password that has ever been created. He can't even keep it down himself. So if I sit here and I'm like, hey, what's the password? You know, he can't give me a straight answer. So like, I, when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I was like, okay, we need this. And he is gonna tell me what the password is. And our Wi-Fi went out the other day. So we were like online trying to restore it, trying to like figure it out, right? Well, it lets you see the Wi-Fi password. And I was like, click on it, click on it. <laughs> and my husband clicked on it. I was like, mm, I need to write that down. I need to screenshot that. It was already like kind of in my mind. And so I went to Dollar Tree, I think like the next day. If I sign, I was like, okay, period, hello. And you know, when I have people over, they're like, what's the password? I'm like, I, I don't know. And they're like, what do you mean you don't know? I'm like, uh, and I asked my husband, and he's like, oh. I'm like, okay, what is it? You said it, you know? <laughs> having it just ready to go okay because literally the only way that i can give it to anyone is if they have an iphone and i'm like do you have an iphone because if you don't like i can't supply you the password like although i'm connected you know like i don't know what that i don't know what the password is and if you have an iphone you can sit here and like put them together like close to each other just share the password so <laughs> anyways that's going in the living room. So when my friends come over, it's not an ordeal anymore. <laughs> Trying to get the password. So thank you, my husband, thank you. Next thing from Dollar Tree, this is a little tray, which honestly, I love these. And I have another one that is like a leaf shape. These are so good for like catch all, like jewelry. I have some jewelry right here. Jewelry, it's perfect for you know, you can store things on it. Like, I don't know, it's very, 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 very useful. So I like the rose design and it's basically like a trinket dish. Um, So any little, little trinkets that like, you know, you could put your keys here, you could put um, just anything that kind of like doesn't have a home. Say there's like an area in your space where like, things don't find homes. So like the front door. There's things that like belong to the area of the front door 
but they don't necessarily have a home, like spare keys, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you don't want a junk drawer to be created for all of this stuff to be thrown into, in those areas where there's items that don't have a home, put out a little trinket dish. Then put those items on the trinket dish, you know? And then if the trinket dish starts to get full, then you're like, all right, time to reevaluate. Time to reevaluate. That's just a little tip. Next thing and final thing is from the fairy garden section of Dollar Tree. So cute. It's a little mushroom. I'm gonna put this in the front garden because I have all of these cute little, um, I don't know what they're actually called, but I call them Jolly Pop-Ups. Um, or like Jolly Pops, Jolly Pop-Ups, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, they're like little purple, purple uh, weeds probably <laughs> that come up. But I have all these little Jolly Pop-Ups that are coming um, because spring is apparently less than a month away, which is kind of crazy to think about, but I got a notification from AccuWeather saying that spring is less than a month away. So I was like, oh, <laughs> the season of the fairy garden. So it's time for me to go to Dollar Tree and get more stuff. I know that I have like a million things already, but it's like, I know you guys are probably thinking that I have some sort of like huge fairy garden, right? Like in your head, like you're probably like, ooh, she's buying all this stuff for her fairy garden, but yet she's never shown it. It must be huge. No, <laughs> because what I've done is I've split it up into like four or five little fairy gardens. So I don't actually have one huge fairy garden. I only have like little fairy gardens just scattered. So I have two out front. So this is gonna go in the front of the house. Um, I'm definitely getting more of these. They have these in green and red. Um, I'm definitely getting more of these. I, I love it. Um, and they also had little gnomes. They had, um, let's see bunch of new fairy garden stuff. They had a chicken coop, which I've never seen the chicken coop. If you have, comment. If you're if you're obsessed like I am with Dollar Tree, comment if you've seen like the chicken coop fairy garden stuff, because I haven't. So I want to know if that's truly new or not. Um, but yeah, so this was the haul. That was everything, you guys. I hope you can find this pillow at five below this week when you go looking, because I know all of you guys are probably like, <laughs> because rightfully so, it is adorable. Y'all need to go to Five Below immediately for some serotonin, you deserve it. Go spend $10 on some serotonin. Do it for you. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys very soon with a hair care routine this week. Bye. Some kind of butterfly.